What's up guys, it's Kevin. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry I hadn't made videos. I've just been super busy with everything going on. But uh, I'm going to try to shoot out at least one to two videos a week. Let me get started and show you what I'm working on. Uh, now my garage is a mess here, but I got this... Uh, of course you guys know most of what I got. I got the Starion over there. The old Civic. Uh, got the Caliber. And I just got this, which is a... Uh, it's a Dodge pickup truck 98. It's kind of my work uh, workhorse. I've been uh, hauling cars, but uh, this is I just picked this up yesterday. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit. It's not in the best of conditions. It's a 95 Honda Civic DX. Uh, of course, you know the DX is the base model. Uh, runs and draws fine. It's just it's got a weird. Um, Weird misfire. Let me actually start it up here. You'll see what I'm talking about. It idles really low. You gotta kinda keep your foot on the gas to keep it running, but through the rev range, it's fun. Um, let me open the hood here for you. Now the uh, kinda cool thing. Well, uh, it's got these steely wheels, but they're kinda dished. I like that. Um, let me show you what I got here. Now this is the engine. Of course they did this stupid wire and tuck, which I don't really understand why people do that. But um, if you can see, and you probably not see down there, but uh, it's a D15 head with a D, um, D16. I mean, it's a D15 block with a D16 head uh, VTEC. So it's a mini me swap. Um, just looks like whoever did this just 16 year old kid not knowing what the fuck they're doing and they're just you know fucking around with it but uh it's got adjustable coilovers with a camber kit you can see here now i want to see if i can i've spent 30 dollars on um paint and stuff like that so i've got the bumper for it i just couldn't tow it with the bumper because it's so low um paid $400 for it so that's uh, definitely not too bad now one thing that I got yesterday and I wasn't expecting to buy anything else but is this right here this is a 90 99 Honda Civic um, LX interior is not too bad you see here these be cleaned out to automatic um, I really, really like these wheels. Uh, tires are too big. It also has adjustable coilovers, and um, I have the uh, the bumper for it. Also, it's actually in the back of the truck over there. Uh, it runs and drives, but it has a flashing um, flashing drive light on the dash. So I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to pull the uh, shift solenoids and the lock solenoids out and uh, clean them or replace them. But it starts up runs. I mean, no issues there. It's only got 147,000 miles. Believe it or not, and this is probably the be best deal that I've gotten in a long time, but believe it or not, I only paid $180 for this car. $180. The dude was asking eight for it. I got him down to five over the internet. And then once I got out there, it was a... Uh, See, he was selling it because he had an issue with the uh, the alternator not charging. Once I got out there, I seen that the uh, the fuse was blowed on it. You know, it might be something something that's making it blow, but you know, at least I knew what the problem was. But he didn't tell me about the flashing D light on it. So uh, I took it from what was it five? I told him, I said, what, what's the last uh, last price you'll take for it? What's your bottom dollar right now? He was like, give me two for it. And I was like, let me see if I can go a little bit more. And I got him down to $180 on it. Now, this also has um, adjustable coilovers. And, of course, the, the wheels are worth a lot more than what I paid for the car. So, um, it was a bitch to tow just because it's so fucking low. Um, Non-VTEC engine, but then again, for 180 bucks, you can't fucking complain. So... Um, I'm going to do a video on how to change and clean the, uh, the lock solenoids and shift solenoids on these, uh, probably tomorrow. But, uh, what I'm worried about right now is, uh, 
getting this done. So let me give you a quick walk around. You can see exactly what it looks like with the wheels and stuff like that. <clears throat> now I'm spending literally $30 to try to make this thing look better. So we'll see if it, uh, we'll see if that works. And don't let this right here fool you. The paint is in horrible condition. Uh, the only good paint on this whole car is the top. Uh, the rest of it, you can see here, it's got a bunch of issues, the raggedy ass fender roll that they did, but uh, <coughs> yeah, that's about it. Anyway guys, um, alright, well I'm going to make a video on how this car comes out, and then I'm going to make a video, like I said, on the uh, shift solenoids on the other car. And uh, thanks for staying with me, even though I hadn't made a video in a while, but uh, I'll definitely uh, try to do better on that, and I'll talk to you guys later.